What's up, y'all? It's Jonathan Rollins. I'm back with another reaction to a Swedish classic. All right, before I get started, I gotta remind you about my comedy club, The Laugh House. We have comedy shows on Fridays, Saturdays, monthly shows on Sundays, and weekly open mics and karaoke. So much going on. So go to thelaughhouse.se to see what we have going on there. Make sure to say hello when you come to a show. Also, I've got three podcasts out there. I have Solva Hender, Teach Me Sweden, and Sven FL. So check those out wherever you get your podcasts. And you can see what dates I got coming up at bashdaddyentertainment.com. Now for today's reaction, I'll be reacting to a song called Turistens Klagen by Cornelis Vresvi. A little bit about the song, it was released in 1978 for the album Felicia Svenska Sweet. And then it was released again in 1980 on the album Turistens Klagen. And uh, I'm just guessing it must be a really good song. So nice that they released it twice, you know what I mean? More proof that the song was popular was the fact that it was covered multiple times later on by other artists. This is the third Cornelia song that I'll be reacting to. Uh, it feels like I've done more. I feel like the, the guy's been impactful to me somehow. But I did Somliga Go Metro Sigasco. Really like that one. And also reacted to Brea from the Colonian. And both of those songs, I remember them being bangers but also that they were very different from each other. I remember Bria from Colonia, and I was touched by how he commanded the room and uh, his performance on that one. And it was a pretty funny song. And I recognized the melody, Hello Mother, Hello Father, in that one. So you can go check those out if you haven't seen that. But I'm really looking forward to this song. From the title, I'm guessing this one is going to be more like Bria from Colonia. Sounds like it's going to be more on the humorous side. But we'll see. That's why I do this, man. I couldn't find an exact number, but from what I saw, Cornelius recorded over 200 songs. Man, he was productive. And he recorded songs in Swedish as well as in Dutch, because he's originally from the Netherlands. So he was a beloved artist. He died at a young age of 50. And finding him is one of the reasons why I'm really glad that I started this project in the first place, because it's, it's like a hidden gem that I don't think I would know anything about if I didn't do this. So I'm really glad about that. And I'm really ready to get to this reaction so I got the lyrics right here so I can read along as I listen and here is Tristan's Klagen by the one and only Cornelis Vreesweek. Man, it's already charming. You got the little kids playing, you got the outdoor noises, some bells from the bicycle. It makes me feel like the summer, man. And, and today happens to be, the day I'm recording this, happens to be a sunny day. It's gonna be warmer than last week. So this is, uh, this is getting me ready for, for the summer. Let's go. <laughs> Du sjunger några ungar på Karl Johan De låter starka och fina som bara ungar kan Själv är jag varsom lås och bom på mitt hotell En kväll bak barrikaden en vanlig kväll Över mitt huvud svävar en kolsvart gam I rummet bredvid mitt sjunger en tokig dam Och jag är trött och tveksam Men deras sång är glad Om inga ungar följer Så slutar jag Min damas språk Ett slim för i vissa fall På grund av snö Som blöter fast den är kall Storsak där din skidåkning Har också skärm Gnid in ditt skinn med nässlor Så blir du värm <laughs> it's really charming. It feels, like I said, really summery. Uh, I'm a little lost on some of the words. I really just don't know what some of these words are. But uh, I could see him uh, talking about how much he loves the kids. I'm hoping that it's not a creepy way. But <laughs> I feel like he loves the children. And don't we all? <laughs> Let's keep going and see what else we got going on there. Men det 
Det ska vara nästor från vikens kant Och inga snednäster från ruinens brant Bevara oss från dem som dessa salig får Oss och de glada ungarna här utanför Was Tristan's claw gun. Uh, I am lost on what he was singing about, but something about the song it was such a feel-good song. Uh, having the, I love the touch of having the kids throughout the entire song, having children playing and laughing, and uh, it just felt like, uh, and then like vehicles riding by and stuff. It just felt like they recorded the sounds of a summer street, and it it, it took me back a little bit. Or oh, actually, it reminded me like a film, more than my own summers. But it, it reminded me of like a film of a summer in New York City type of vibe. And I really liked it. It feels weird to call it a banger. I'm gonna say not a banger. It feels weird to categorize it in a banger sense. I really did like it. Uh, I love how charming it was. I love how he sang. I love how even how he was humming it throughout the song when it was just like the chorus part or the break the bridge or whatever. And he's just like, hmm. I really like that uh, part of it as well. Another charming Cornelius song. The guy feels like he could do no wrong at all. Another thing, it sounded like um, a fair, like the music, the up and down of the music, or I don't know what type of instrument that was, an accordion maybe? I don't know, but it sounded like um, a carousel at, the, at a fair where you just hold in a big lollipop or a large turkey leg or something like that as the, <laughs> the carousel goes around and around and just having a good time or broken open uh, fire hydrant water spraying and children running around. That's the vibe it had and it makes me look forward to the summer. So I'm glad I did the song now because we need a little bit of summer right now. So that's that. Thanks for checking this video out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, get notifications and all that jazz. Most importantly, spread the word. Let people know about this American comedian reacting to classic Swedish music. We're gonna keep this train rolling, as I like to say. The next song I'll be reacting to is a duet, The Way You Are. It's by Ola Håkansson and Agneta Feltskog. Ask me how many times I had to do that <laughs> to say those names, jeez. <laughs> Sometimes, man, my tongue just gets in the way when I'm trying to say Swedish names. But I got through it, stay tuned for that. I love me a duet, so I'm wondering what that's gonna be all about. Feel free to let me know in the comments what this last song was about, because I really would like to know exactly what Cornelius was saying, besides uh, there's a uh, hope for the future and the kids or whatever, so give me a breakdown if you like. I, I do read through the comments, hit me up, and also request future songs. I look forward to that. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next classic. Peace.